Dirt 2ON discovered something curious, a biopsy sample that contained traces of HIV. It came from a patient in the Congo who died in the 1960s. To prove that this was not an isolated case, he needs to find more evidence. The plan? Return to the Congo and follow up on the leads. Delphine Mavinga Fanzu, the technician from the pathology lab where the first tantalizing clue was found, might be able to help. The documents from the pathology lab detail the medical history of patients dating back to 1954. As a trained professional, DIRT might be able to spot cases that suggest AIDS-like symptoms. But to confirm any early HIV patients, they will have to find tissue samples and test them for the virus. Alors, est-ce que tu as encore quelque part des archives pour oui, ceci? Oui, il y a des blocs. Ce oui, qu'ils ont enlevé pour, euh, pour mettre leur armoire. Et puis, donc, on va une fois regarder, on peut une fois regarder. At first sight, this doesn't look like a medical gold mine. Comment on dit? But the search has paid off. They have found thousands of tissue samples from the 1960s. Piece by piece, batches of these precious blocks are shipped out to Arizona for analysis. If the lab can ID the virus in the 70-year-old human tissue, it will rewrite the lost history of AIDS. At the University of Arizona, Molecular biologist Mike Warraby is wrestling with the half-century-old tissue samples from Africa. The trick now is to find a tiny little bit of HIV genetic material that might be in there. And it's kind of like looking for a needle in a haystack, but the needles are broken because of the chemicals that we use. So it's like looking for a tiny fragment of a broken needle uh, in a field of haystacks. 30 years after HIV was first discovered, we may be on the cusp of a new discovery. If the team can prove that there was an epidemic in Africa as early as the 1960s. Well, got a band here, looks decent. Here, here. There are signals that some of the samples from the 1960s are indeed HIV positive. Um, and you're going to do a gel cut and clean these up? Yep, and we'll clone them and sequence them. Beautiful. All they right. look good. They look really good. The team has found HIV in samples from the 1960s. AIDS was wreaking havoc in Africa decades before anyone ever noticed. <laughs>